My official welcome to class. This is Total Body Strength. Thank you so much for logging on today and joining us. Uh, it will be recorded later in case you want to do the workout another time. Um, or if you couldn't make it to today's live class, you'll be able to watch it again later. I'm going to go ahead and get my playlist started. You guys can start up your music if you have it. When you're ready, we're going to take it to a jogging place. Once again, today's class, we're going to be working with tempo for the first part. Which means we'll have our regular bicep curls, squats, the whole nine. And then we're going to take it slower, even slower. We're going to add in a little bit of isometrics, a little bit of pulses, and then we'll take it back from the top into our full one up, one down. I think she's just here for the whole class now. All right, we're going to take it to side step jocks in four, three, two, step it out. Eight more here. Four, three, two, take it to squat, feet wide, down and up, chest lifted. Sit back into your heels. Let's hold at the top. We're going to cross and open, cross, pull back. Cross, open, cross, pull back. Last one here. We take it back to our jogging place. We just want to get the heart rate lifted. She's being very cautious, but I think she wants to hang out in the room. So when we go to jacks, your option is to keep those side step jacks or go to full jumping jacks. Big it up in four, three, two, and jack. Eight more. Three, two. Back to squats, down and up. Four more. Three, two, and one. This time we're crossing overhead. Pull down, cross, straight arm open. Pull, straight arm. Too close to all my staff. Yes, it's time to catch your breath. Last one here. We're going to take the feet out wide, shift it right and left. Four, three, two. And one. Okay, so we're going into our first block, working with tempo. We're going to hit the lower body. Weights here are an option. So if you do want to use your weights, you can either let them hang down from the shoulders, you can bring them into neutral grip up in front, or you can go into like a front squat position so the palms are going to be facing in, thumbs out to the sides. Whatever's more comfortable for you, take it there. We're going to do just a regular set of squats, down and up, down and up. Again, sitting back through the heels, just like in the warm-up. From here, we're going to make it a little staccato. So we're going to go down halfway, all the way, halfway up, all the way up. So your range of motion is up to you. But it should feel like you're hitting a little pause in the middle. Last one here, 
And now we're going to go super slow-mo, counting down for four and back up for four. So this one is going to be smooth, slow, and controlled instead of staccato. So we go down. Two, three, four, back up. Super slow-mo. Three, two, one. Let's do it again. Now, two, three, four, and up. Three, two, one. Take it down. And up. Down. Come back up. We're halfway. Take it down. And up. Down. Back up. Let's go for two more super slow mo. Back up. Last one here, but we're not going to come up. We're going to hold at the bottom. Give me eight seconds here. Six, five, four, three, two, pulse it out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, another hold. Keep it low. You got this. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Another set of pulses. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, full set, all the way up. All the way down. Last one here. And we'll go all the way down. We're all the way up for good measure. If you have your weights up, let's go ahead and take them down to the side. We're going to be stepping back with the right leg into reverse lunge. So we step back, feet together. We have four more here. Three, two, we're gonna hold it back. One, two pulses, step it together. One, two, feet together. One, two, feet together. Keep it moving. Halfway there. Shoulders are over the hips, chest lifted. Let's hold this one back. After this rep, we hold straight down, straight up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Hold it low. Eight seconds. We got this. Five, four, three, two. Pulses are next. Pulse it out. Six, five. Four, three, two, step it forward all the way back. Full set. One more here. Then we're going to repeat that whole squat series one more time. Take your feet out wide. Hands can be up, palms in, or neutral, or down to the sides. Or drop your weights all together, whichever you prefer. Back to your regular squats, down and up for eight. Last one here, we go staccato. So we go down, down, up, and up. Again, range of motion is up to you. Halfway there. Three, two, and one. Now we got that super slow mo. Count it down for four. Back up for four. You got this. Slow it down, catch your breath. Focus on your muscles firing up. Make sure your chest is lifted. Let's 
Let's go for four more here. We're gonna hold our next one at the bottom. Hold it for me. Seven, six, five, four, three, zero. Pulse it out. Four, five, six, seven. Hold it low. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Another set of pulses. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, stand it up, come back, down, and up. Hopefully I'm not the only one whose quads are on fire. Last one here, and we're going back to that lunge series, switching legs. So the left leg is leading, shake an arm out, weights can come back down to the sides. Drop them off to the floor, or you can leave them up at the shoulders. It's up to you. We're going to take a little water break after this sequence. Step it back, left leg. Feet together. You guys are awesome. Stay strong. Two pulses at the bottom. Step it up. Four more, just like this. Three, two, one. We're gonna step it back. Pulse it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hold it low. All right, we're gonna go full range after this hold, all the way up, all the way down because I gave you your pulses early. We've got two more. Lift it tall, back down, feet together, shake it out. Drop your weight, grab some water. <laughs> Peyton, your legs lack me five whole miles at that one race we did together. All right, we're going to switch to upper body. Curls, we're going to go thumbs out. Elbows are right under the shoulders. We're going to give our legs a break, work the upper body. We're going up and down, one to one count. Two more here. Then we're gonna go staccato, just like on the squat. So we come up halfway, up all the way. Try to keep the elbows from floating forward. I'm getting warm. Here's where my hair starts to fall apart. One more staccato, and then we're going super slow-mo. So we go up, hold at the top, down. Now, if you wanna keep moving without giving your biceps a break, you're only gonna come up to about 80% of that full curl, and then come all the way back down. We got four more in that slow-mo. Three. Breathe. Two, should be feeling it in the biceps. Last one, slow-mo. We're gonna take it all the way back down. Come up to that halfway point. Instead of holding isometrically, we're gonna rotate from the shoulder, open and close. 
like you're pointing your thumbs behind you and then drawing back to center. Four more. Three, two, and one. Take it back to center, all the way down, all the way up. Regular tempo, one to one. There's three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Hold at the top. We're going to rotate palms forward. I'm going to reposition a little bit. I don't want to hit my walls. We're going to go both arms overhead. Tap in the center if you'd like. Pull it back down. Up and down. So with overhead movement, that tends to be a little bit more challenging for your heart. It might bring your heart rate up pretty high. If you need to take a break, take a break. One more regular tempo. We're going to hold at the bottom. So in our staccato movement, I know my arms are out of frame at the very top. We're going to go halfway to hands just above the ears and then all the way into full extension, halfway back down, and then all the way into this free rack position. So we go up, up, down, and down, up, up, down, and down, up, up, down, and down. You guys have it now, right? Halfway. Two more. Should be feeling it in the shoulders. And we're going super slow-mo. Up, two, three, four. Slow and controlled. Back down. Reset. Up. And down. Harder to go slow on the way down. Fighting against gravity. You got this. Three more, guys. Pull it in. If it's starting to get heavy, just remember your form. We're keeping the shoulders stacked over the hips. Try not to lean back. That's going to put too much pressure on your low back. Reset it here. We're going back to that one-to-one. -one. Straight up, straight down. This one should feel easy after all that slow-mo work. Last one here. When we reset, we're going to rotate palms in. So we're going to do an Arnold press, kind of like holding your bicep curl isometrically at the bottom. We're going to rotate it open, press it overhead, rotate it back to start. Arnold presses are great for the delts. Let's go for one more here. Take it all the way down. Grab some water. Shake it out. We're still going to be working with the upper body. We're going to add in some standing core moves as well. Man, I'm sorry you're regretting your run. You should probably do one of the stretching videos after this. All of the workout. I'm going to turn to the side for you guys. We're gonna bring one foot in front of the other. Come onto the toes of the back foot. So we're adding in a little bit of a stability challenge. Hinge from the hip, keep that nice straight spine, flat back. We're gonna row up, both arms, release down. We're done with the tempo work. Torture is over. Now we just lift. Hold it up here, kick it back, hit the triceps. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Bring it back into the shoulders, back down. So we're going to go right arm only, row it up, and we're going to add a twist. So we're working in the core. Normally, when we're just doing our row, we want to avoid the twist because we're taking the pressure or the work phase off of the back. But now we're doing it on purpose so we can work the core. 
We're gonna go for one more here. Switch your forward foot. And we're gonna do the same on the other side. Row, little twist at the top. One more. And then we're going to go into a little bit of balance. So let's drop one weight down to the floor. We're not done with those shoulders yet, you guys. So your option here is to keep a weight in the right hand or drop the weight altogether. We're going to counterbalance with the left hand out to the side. Tap your right foot out so your heels are, or your toe is down, your heel is lifted. We're going to reach straight up with that right arm. And we're going to pull elbow towards the knee. Little bit of balance, a whole lot of core. We're going to go for eight more on this side. Four, three, two, and one, switch it all the way over to the other side. Counterbalance, right arm is out, hip right over the right knee, right knee right over the ankle, tap it out with the left foot, start it up tall, bring it in and down. It's okay if you lose your balance, we have eight more here. Four, three, two, and one. So we're gonna keep working on balance. We'll do one little core set in the middle, figure eight. We're gonna go both toes pointing forward, both feet. Little figure eight side to side. Just like you do in your mason twist, reaching right and left, hands towards the hips, but we're actively drawing that eight, crossing in the center. <sighs> Getting ready for the next round of work. All right, if you guys are wearing shoes today, this next one might be a little bit more challenging, just because it's harder to stabilize depending on the shoe that you're wearing. If you're barefoot, you have an advantage. So we're gonna take just that one weight. We're gonna bring the right knee up to hip height. So for some of us, this is a challenge in and of itself. If your balance is really not great today, I understand. Just bring the toe to the floor so that most of your weight is in that left leg. We're gonna take it from one shoulder all the way up and over to the other. One more here. All right, now we gotta try it on the other side. Shake it on out. Maybe you're feeling it in that stabilizing calf. Plant the right foot down, left toes into the floor out in front, or bring the knee up to hip height. We're gonna hit rainbows on the other side. Another set of eight, alternating right and left. We can see which side is easier for me. Keep breathing. Almost done this series. All right, take it down. We're gonna add in another little bit of upper body, but also some rotational movement. So your option here is just the one weight. We're gonna go from front raise into that archer move, driving the elbow back and across the chest. When we open it up to the side, we're going to keep the gaze towards the elbow. If you want just the one weight, you're going to hold it out in front. If you want both weights, we're going neutral grip, palms towards each other. We're going to rotate all on the right side. Bring it up in the center, pull back, 
hands together, take it down. Same side, pull back, hands together and down. Focus on that rotation. Using your core to drive the movement. Two more on this side. Now we gotta hit the other side, go right into it. Up, pull back, follow the elbow, take it down. Here's halfway. Four more. Three. Two. And one. Take it down. Back to just one weight. We're almost done the standing core series. Actually, we're almost done the whole class. We're gonna go for another set of figure eights, side to side. So even though the arms are moving, think about your abs firing up, engaging the whole core all the way around. Four more, two, and one. Okay, from here, we're gonna drop all weights down to the side, shake it on out. We're gonna go very light fingertips behind the ears, elbows out to the side. Take a little step out with the right foot. We're gonna do a teeny tiny crunch over as we do a lateral leg extension. So working in a little bit of glute while we hit the obliques. And again, a little bit of balance. Eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Same thing, other side. We're gonna start with that tap out, just to center ourselves, get our balance, lift the leg as we bring a little crunch over to the side. Think about connecting the top of the rib cage or the bottom of the rib cage to the top of the hip. So go up and down. Eight more, and then we get to stretch. Five, four, three, two, and one. Release your arms down, shake it on out, grab some water, and then we're gonna stretch. Who doesn't like a good delt workout? All right, when you're ready, let's take the feet out nice and wide. So they're gonna be wider than shoulders and hips. Take the arms out to the sides. We're gonna interlace the fingers, draw the shoulder blades together, down the spine, lengthening through the arms. I know I'm wearing all black, it's hard to see. The thumbs are pointing in towards your glutes. We're pulling down, opening the chest, stretching out through the arms. Breathe. All right, release the hand. Let's reach up with just the right arm. Reach down with the left. Give me a gentle pull backwards, really opening the chest. You can take your gaze down to your left hand if you'd like, or you can keep it right in the center, whichever you prefer. Whew. I'm sweating. Take it to the center, switch sides. Take it to the center, we're gonna cross the right arm over the chest, lock it in behind the elbow and let's drop the shoulder down away from the ear so you can really capitalize on that shoulder stretch. If you're up here, you're not really doing much other than the arm, but we wanna hit the shoulder. <sighs> Switch sides for me. 
Again, we're dropping the top of the shoulder away from the ear. If it helps, you can actively pull the top of the shoulder or the top of the arm down towards the floor. Then to release it down, we're gonna step forward with just the right foot. Push onto the toes of the left foot and pull back if you want. Hands can come to quads. One more here, take it back and then all the way to the ground. Try to flatten that left palm to the floor. Let's reach up with the right hand. And take it down, step your feet together. We're gonna do that little push and pull with the other side. Sorry guys, my vertigo is legit. We're pushing and pulling. Cassie, my hair is not so nice anymore. Last one here, take it down, right palm flat to the floor, twist it open, reach it up. And go ahead and drop it down, step both feet together, keep your chest low, hands come up to the quads, drop the chest, round through the spine, drop your chest down, reach your arms down, cross at the bottom, give me a nice big inhale on the way up, and exhale it down. Awesome work today, you guys. I know that was a burner. Definitely check out some of those yoga videos and stretches that we have on the YouTube account because, especially after today, and the other two classes this week with strong and with the hit workout you guys are probably going to feel it a little bit more now that we have more diversity in our schedule and we're three out of four of us are teaching those live classes i'm sure you guys are feeling it i know that we have a lot of the same people coming every time we can't tell you how much we appreciate it um a couple quick plugs for the april showers to make flowers we put um videos for all of the exercises on the youtube channel um, as well as the google calendar so if you're not sure what some of those exercises are, you can click on the link and it'll take you to a little uh, montage of what the four exercises of the day are. Definitely check those out. It's not too late to get started. The calendar's on our shared drive. Give that a look. Tomorrow night, we're hosting game night for the first time. It's totally free. Um, it's just a trivia game. It's a true false thing. The games are really quick. Anyone can log on. We can host up to 100 people at a time. So. The more the merrier. Feel free to share that link with your friends. It's like our little impromptu happy hour. So definitely feel free to log on. We're starting at 7, ending whenever. Hopefully I will see you there. I see a lot of comments in chat. So thank you so much for showing up. Thank you for being active in chat. I really appreciate it. If I don't see you guys tomorrow for game night, hopefully I'll see you at 11 a.m. for our stretch break. And if not, have a wonderful weekend. And we will see you same time, same place next week. Have a great night.